The Grow My Cleaning Company podcast helps owners of cleaning companies just like you to grow your company and yourself so you can make more money and finally get the time and money freedom that probably got you into this business. Discover how to automate and create systems that allow you to grow like crazy without losing control. If you dig the show and want to show some love, subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes. It really helps. Enjoy the show. Hi, Cleaning Nation. It's Lindsay B. And I am back here with the fabulous Tracy Thompson for today's podcast. And Tracy is fresh off a Tony Robbins workshop last weekend. So she is rearing to go with all kinds of awesome ideas to bring you guys. And one of these that Tracy and I were just discussing is the concept of stop reacting and start proacting. So Tracy, (laughs) I'm gonna let you take it away. And first, can you just give us a little insight into the Tony Robbins uh, workshop and like what it was like and what your favorite parts were? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Hi everybody, Clean Nation. most everybody has heard, at least heard of Tony Robbins, but I'm still surprised every day I meet people that are like, you know, I don't really know that much about him. And I'm like, well, let me tell you what. <laughs> I, um, I went to a four day virtual retreat, uh, conference, whatever you want to call it, workshop. It was amazing. It was called Unleash the Power Within. And uh, the theme that we're going to be talking about today ties so closely right into everything that we were taught, everything that we did during that weekend or that four days. Um, And I would say my biggest takeaway from that four days is this one concept that we don't, as human beings, we are not meant to receive or get energy from outside of us as much as we are meant to be generators of energy. So we're like power plants. Power plants don't get energy, they generate energy. And so that's a really big flip. It's a really big sort of mindset or or paradigm shift um, from, well, you know, if I wake up and I don't feel good, Um, and then I, somebody tells me something, you know, bad, one of my employees called out and then my daughter is sick and my dog is barfing on the floor, whatever it is. And you go, man, I'm in a bad mood now. I, my energy feels cruddy and I, I suddenly feel less and less and less energetic. Um, and we kind of, project, we blame like, oh, well, of course I don't feel high energy because, and then we tell our sad story about how all these things went wrong. And of course, how could I feel energetic and good when all these bad things are happening? And so, and we're conditioned to believe that that outside circumstances, outside things are even in our own bodies. Like that's, we're we're just supposed to sort of suck it up and put up with it and just deal with it. And that's really not true. So this idea that we're the creators, that that power plant within us, right? Unleash the power within is really about being the generator, the creator, the owner right? The boss Mm. of your, your whole world, your whole um, reality. And certainly it starts with your energy starts with you being less reactive and more proactive. So proacting is exactly that it comes from that place within you that when you know it, you bring it. You can shift that mindset immediately, bring a whole new level of energy to any situation. I don't care what circumstances are going on. You still have that power. So that's really the big takeaway, Lindsay, um, for me. And I'm super excited about to, uh, to talk about this today as it relates to cleaning companies and what they deal with every day. Ooh, that was a lot. And (laughs) that the whole Tony Robbins experience, that sounds so awesome. And I love how what you took away from it could apply to 
anyone really it, it affects everyone no matter if you're a business owner you're an employee you're a coach like you I, it just covers the whole everyone uh, yes so yeah let's jump into cleaning business owners tracy so from what i see and i'm sure you can speak to this too is that a lot of our clients um mm -hmm. first of all a lot of the people that we work with one-on-one -on -one are in that shift where they're getting out of cleaning and they're becoming business owners in the fact that they're actually working on their business right and with that what, what is the spider-man quote with uh what is great it? power with great power comes great responsibility exactly right? <laughs> so you got we, it. They, they see all kinds of stuff get thrown at them so i guess tracy can you give us an example that you see business owners where they are reacting a lot mm -hmm. and then can you show us what that looks like and then yes. after that show us what the proactive part would look like. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So clean nation, maybe you'll relate to some of these, maybe not all, but I'm sure that you'll find something that you go, yeah, that's, that's been me because listen, I'm going to let you know a little secret before I start. We're all human. <laughs> We're all human. We're all having this little human experience. And we sometimes we fall asleep and we forget for a moment just how powerful we really are. So we all do it. So I'm not not preaching today uh, from the pulpit. I am definitely in the choir with you. And we're all singing the same, <laughs> the same hymnal here. So all right. So reaction. Let me give you some examples of classic examples of um, cleaning company owner, sort of reactionary things that go on. Well, I already said one of them. So for example, you're, you're working hard, you know, you, you've been an amazing cleaner and you came up through the business by being the best at what you do at cleaning, right? And then you make that, that transition where you start to grow and you bring on new employees, or you're in that process of hiring and training and bringing on new people. And I know for a lot of business owners, Lindsay, this is a this is a really sort of vulnerable, crucial time for them because that's a really big shift to think of themselves as an identity. Like I'm an owner of nice. a cleaning company versus just being a cleaner. So with all that. Um, shift and transformation going on, what can happen is those fears, you know, those sort of the fears that they didn't really have to deal with when they were just cleaning themselves, when they start to hire, they're like, but what if these cleaners don't do a good job? What if mm. the clients get upset? What if they quit? What if the clients leave me? And uh, what if they, you know, and all those fears, you know, start to bubble up. And then you have a cleaner who doesn't show up mm -hmm. all of a sudden, or, oh, uh oh, maybe they do make a mistake. Maybe they don't do it the right way. And you suddenly go into this, I would say freak out, mode, but you know, you're, you're reacting in that moment, you, your heart starts beating, you're, you know, you start getting anxiety, you're yeah, put out of fire. Yeah. The right. You're like, Oh, Oh my God. Okay. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> this is my worst fear. This is exact. So that is a classic example of being in full blown reaction mode. Okay. Now, most people would say, well, yeah, duh. Okay. What do you want from me, Tracy? Geez, of course I'm going to react. Why wouldn't I react? That seems normal. And honestly, that's what we've been taught. Most of us have never been really taught anything different. We've been um, conditioned, you know, by society, by our parents, by our environment, that we just react to things. But being proactive being getting into that space where you're the proactor and you're being proactive rather than reactive looks like this all right the same right. situation right the same situation <laughs> now instead of hair on fire oh my gosh I, i'm freaking out i'm i'm feeling anxiety i may be even raising my voice i may um, be projecting and, and really reacting to my, to my employee, to the client. 
Instead, you take a moment and you check in Mm -hmm. and you go, okay, what's the best version of me right now that I need to be in order to work through this situation in a calm, confident, measured, right? Very intentional way. Because when we're in that space being proactive, and when we we think proactive, we think we're getting out ahead of it. Well, in a way you are, but the part of you that's getting ahead of it is not what you're saying per se yet. It's who you're being. Mm. And when you bring that energy, when you decide first, it it, it all starts with deciding how you're going to show up. And you take a beat, you take a moment, maybe you take a couple moments before you start speaking or acting or doing. That is the difference between hair on fire reaction and being a pro actor, a proactive person. So does that make sense, Lindsay? It makes so much sense. And you probably heard me like, ooh, like, <laughs> you're yeah. like, you're like, you're like, I'm not in the pulpit today. I'm like, no, preach, preach a little bit. Oh, <laughs> it's good. It's good. So, okay, I'm just going to spit back a few things that I got out of it. And then, yeah. of course, because you're talking to me, I have, I have questions and what ifs. So first off, I like how you said, instead of reacting right away, you come from a place of what would the best version of me, how would they handle this? What would that look like? And it's very, the word you used was intentional Mm. and actually took notes because it was so good. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Okay, so another thing you said, and here's where my questions start, my my Mm. wheels started turning. You said it's coming from a place of being. Mm. And my, not really rebuttal, but my thought was, well, if you're not used to being that type of person, Tracy, isn't this going to take a lot of practice? Like, is is this going to happen overnight? Like, how do I practice? Yeah, coming from coming from this intentional space. Yes. Oh, such a great question. I love that, and that's such a wonderful distinction. Because here's the truth: if we wait, if we don't practice at all. And you're listening out there and you're like, oh yeah, maybe that happened to me this morning. (laughs) It's like (laughs) too late, (laughs) already in reaction. Um, If you find yourself already in a highly intensive like reaction mode situation, and it could be anything, it could be at home, it could be with your spouse, it could be with your kids. But if you find yourself in it, that's the hardest time. To then go, oh, right. What did Tracy say? What, what did they say? Oh, I'm supposed to be present. I'm supposed to be calm. I'm supposed to be. And then I'm present and pissed off. <laughs> right. I'm presently really mad. Okay. Um, I'm presently freaking out. Uh, it, that's the hardest time to do it. Granted, there are techniques and I'll share a few of them. I, I'm going to give you a little, you know, hacks and tricks for that. But the truth is. What you said, Lindsay, is the key. You said it. We need to practice when it's not intense, when we're not like right in the middle of it. So what can that look like? Let's mm-hmm. let's talk about what practicing being the best version of yourself. What does that look like? So my recommendation, this is what I coach all of our clients to do, is every morning, before your day starts, before you open up your email, (laughs) before you get all those messages that could contain those fires that we're talking about, right? So it's getting ahead of your day before that. Practice a ritual, even a simple one of just taking a moment. Don't pick up your phone yet. Don't open your email yet. I know it's so hard at first because it's we're not, that's not our practice. Typically, we're like, okay, I've got to check in really fast. So, but before that, just take a moment and sit with yourself. Sit with you. I know that like that's the hardest thing on the yes. planet. Like oh just like for <laughs> 10 minutes, even five minutes. Start with five minutes. Sit with yourself and Just check in. How am I feeling right now? What's my energy like? And be honest, because if you go, if you're one of those people, for example, that goes, 
oh my gosh, I can't even think straight before my coffee. I, I'm like, all right. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm raising my hand for those people only on audio. <laughs> I like roll barely out of bed and slink onto the floor. And, you know, you're like, if that's you, that's okay. Be honest. But that's a moment I want you all to just know. And, and this is true. If you look at, just take a moment and go, I bet right now, even without my coffee, before my coffee, before the email, before the text, that I can sit here with some simple breathing, some simple breathing, deep breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And you do that five or six times and you speed it up as you're doing it. You start slow and speed up. By the time you get to the sixth, seventh breath, you're feeling way more energized because we got to get oxygen to the brain. We've got to get oxygen in our blood. We've got to start. We are the power plant. Mm. We don't get energy. We generate it. So when you take ownership of your day, of your energy first, of who you're being in that moment and take one moment and go, what's one word that would describe the person I want to be today? One word. So Lindsay, I'm going to put the really quick. What's the one word you're going to be this, this one word today. What's it going to be organized? I love it. Organized. <laughs> All right. So you should you see get our office. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you're in your, you're sitting up in your bed and you're like, okay, I'm going to do my breath. I'm going to generate the energy. And my one word today is organized and you feel it. You feel it and you imagine it. And then you step up, you stand up, and that's who you're going to be that day. You declare it, you own it, it's yours. All right. And and I'm telling you, just that one exercise. And, and that only took five minutes. Trust me, it will not take much longer than that. If you practice that every day to at least start your day that way you're going to be way further ahead than 90% of the people on the planet, probably more than that, because most people are not intentional. They, they just kind of roll out of bed and go, well, I guess we'll see what kind of day it's going to be. It's going to depend on the weather. It's going to depend on my kids. It's going to depend on my coffee. <laughs> it's going <laughs> to, it's going to depend on all these factors. And as long as that's true, clean nation, You're always going to be, and I'm going to say it, you're going to be a victim. And I know that's a harsh word, isn't it? It was like, ooh. Triggered. Ooh, (laughs) yeah, right? Because nobody wants to think of themselves as a victim. But if you're handing your power over to outside circumstances, even to your coffee, as much as you love it, as long as the power is outside of you, you're never going to be fully, completely in control. So when the fires come up, you are not ready. If you haven't started your day, at least start the day in that fully embodied power position, being proactive. That's what this looks like. You're a pro actor in your life. And I always say, act as if you are the, that one word, right? That guides your day. You are already that inspiration, organized, uh, influential, powerful, whatever words you use to inspire yourself, that's being proactive. Where do I start unpacking this? Because this is, <laughs> I, I always feel like after you talk, I'm like, I, I literally like have like clean nation on the podcast. You can't see me, but I have notes in my green pen. Um, okay, let's review. Let's review yeah. class. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Back to the first thing you said early in the morning. Okay, before my coffee. Yeah. Don't open the phone. I'm not gonna open Slack. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this in first person because let's be honest. I'm just like everyone else, right? I um okay, so what I do is I I'm gonna sit up or sit up, take time to myself, start with five minutes, and I'm gonna breathe slowly. Are you low key, by the way, teaching us to meditate without using the M word, which is meditate? (laughs) I just it, caught that. It is. It's it's inner. It's inner reflection. You, if you want to call it meditation, you can, <laughs> but you don't have to because some people have like weird stuff around meditation. Yeah, true. 
it's but it's just awareness. It's just, yeah, it's just checking in with yourself, right? right? So we're going to check in with ourselves, feel like what our energy is like, do the breathing mm-hmm. exercise you mentioned, start slow, get faster, pick our one word, and that is what we're going to be for the day. Yes. And I love that because that is so simple and like just doable. Like I feel like everyone has five minutes where, yeah. you know, they can put their phone on silent. They can uh, have the spouse or have someone, you know, check on their kid, give them breakfast for just give me five minutes. Um, go to so, the bathroom and have your five minutes and whatever. There way. you go. <laughs> there you go. Cleaning nation. Everyone <laughs> kick your cat out of the bathroom, your dog. They can't even come in. Like, <laughs> right. Just you. Um, <laughs> So on that note, Tracy, we, this was so good today. Thank you for doing this with me. We are wow. actually at time and I just had a great idea for our call to action. Are you ready yes. for it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cleaning Nation. This is your call of action to action. It's a little different than normal. Ooh. I want you guys out there to try this meditation exercise. Tracy, I'll let you name it, but for five days in a row, preferably during a work week, like Monday through Friday. So it's really like when you really need it, most of us. Monday. (laughs) Mondays. And let us know how it goes. And what you can do is hit us up on Instagram, which we're Grow My Cleaning Company, and just say, hey, um, what are we going to name this exercise, Tracy? We are going to call it your five minute Proaction. What? Uh, five minute ritual. Pro- <laughs> ritual. Practice. It's a good practice. 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 Yes. practice. Yes. Alliteration is good. Five yes. minute proactive. Proaction. Proactive. Proaction. Practice. Practice. Got it. Okay. So, see, I we like just it. do see, this on we, the spot, cleaning nation. Yeah. We. Hey, you know what? You name it to claim it. It always means more when you name it. Exactly. So this is your five minute pro action. Uh, I like pro action. <laughs> uh, pro action interaction. Pro action interaction. Oh, okay. Because you're interacting with yourself, your higher self, if you will. Ooh, still look at this copyright <laughs> copywriter coming out in Tracy. Not only is she an amazing mindset coach, she's a freaking fabulous copywriter guys. So anyhow, so you're going to go on Instagram, you're going to go to grow my cleaning company, and you're going to DM us. We have an outreach team on there. They're amazing. They will get back to me. You're going to say, Hey, I tried Tracy Tracy's five minute pro action interaction exercise challenge. Yes. Whatever. Yeah, and exactly. It went like this. Yeah. And yeah. So let us know how it goes, Cleaning Nation. I love it. I'm super excited about this one, Tracy, because it's going to make a difference. I know it. It's going to help people. So Absolutely. And and listen, if you're out there right now, one extra little tip. This practice, yes, it's really awesome in the morning. But if right now you find yourself and you're like, my energy is kind of low. I'm not. I'm stressed. I've had stuff happen. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. It 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 still works. (laughs) So that's it. All right. Well, I'm going to take us out. Thank you again, Tracy and Cleaning Nation. We will see you next time on the podcast. Adios. Bye, guys. Well, here we are at the end of the podcast and you made it. Great job. Uh, I've got a little bonus for you before for sticking through with me. But like I mentioned before, if you got value out of this podcast and you want to show a little love, subscribe, rate and review on iTunes, Spotify, wherever the heck you're listening to this thing, share with a friend, share the love. And as a special thank you for those of you that stuck with me to the end, how about I give you my personal phone number so we can text. It's a great way for me to get to know you, your business, your goals personally. So shoot me a text now, 602-932-6431. 602-932-6431. I am the only one who responds to these texts and I will personally respond to everyone I possibly can as long as uh, this number is manned. I uh, don't know how long we're going to keep this at the end of the podcast, so grab it now. 602-932-6431. Give me a text. Say hey. Can't wait to meet you.